Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to kind of do like a fun look. That last one is pretty fun, but uh, we're gonna try something a little bit more. I have an inspiration of my necklace. It's a sunflower. So we're gonna do something with like sunflower themed. Hence like this mustard shirt. I think it might clash with the look. We'll see. Have you been? Just kidding. You can't talk to me. It's finally 80 degrees outside in New Hampshire. So that's awesome. Finally, summertime. I'm ready to party, right? So I usually don't do too much as far as glitter looks go because they make just, you know, a mess, really. But they're fun. So we're gonna try and do that today. This is gonna be the first time you'll actually ever see me uh, do my eyes first, because I almost always do my makeup, like my base makeup, face makeup first, but I don't want glitter all over my face, you know? Like, that's not fun. I'm using the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I love this. Um, that's something I'll get into with another video. Because yes, I am an esthetician and I do have like high-end products. But not only for my clients, but for just me and like everyone else. I try and find somewhat of a good alternative that's a little bit more affordable. So with that being said, you'll see a lot of like higher end makeup things versus like not so high end things and that's purely for research and this is one thing I will highly recommend to any person, any of my clients, anybody. It's very just simple, it's hydrating, it's made with vitamin E and purified water. Uh, the and actually the ingredients in it, I don't think there's anything bad. Other estheticians, you know, we can chat, but personal opinions, you know? I'm gonna let that sink in, but we're also gonna put on a little bit of the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I just like to put that where I'm like super duper dry, you know? which I noticed is also pretty much where I just put my lotion, so. But it's just extra, you know? One thing I'm going to start off with is finding some glitter to work with our look. I have a fun drawer full of glitters. Very fun. Um, I have lots of different colors, as you can see. Uh, I don't know... I don't know as far as you know the colors I don't know what I truly have I know that I have this one which is like a neon yellow that's intense I don't think I want to do that I'm trying to look for more of a gold actually as like a more of a gold accent because I feel like anything pure yellow might like super clash with this shirt maybe I just shouldn't wear this shirt should I change my shirt I don't know well here we go that's like a nice gold. You can use that. But I have lots of colors, so if anyone ever has any suggestions of a certain type of look, I pretty much got it, you know? I, I bought like every color, pretty much. I like, I like glitter. I don't love using it, but it looks pretty, you know? Let's see if you can see that yet. Oh yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. So now we'll set that to the side. That yellow is a little too yellow right now for me. The orange is probably gonna work. I'm looking for more of like a mustardy sunflower yellow, you know, versus like a pure yellow, right? I have a lot of palettes back here. We can, we can do a 
palette tour one day. Ooh. Is that what I'm looking for? I think it might be. Let me swatch it real quick. But it matches my shirt pretty well, so I think that's what I'm gonna go for. And that's gonna be in the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. As I was saying, we can do a tour of this drawer another day because there's a lot of stuff in there. Oh, it's jam packed full in there. So I want to do like a cut crease, but like a more in the front cut crease, you know? I want more of a fluffy brush to kind of do the crease. We're going to use the Urban Decay Potion Primer. Um, I, I just have the original. I don't have like a color anything really. Okay, let's pack on this orange. I'm using a packing motion just to push that right on my crease. I'm not even worrying about anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and start actually packing that on the lid on the outer corner. And right next to that orange, there's like a burnt orange, kind of like a brick, I guess. I'm gonna take the same brush and put just a little bit on the outer corner right here. Just want to slightly deepen that outer V corner. Let's cut a little bit of a crease. You know what I wish I had and I really should get is like a just a pure white that I can put to make my color just like pop even more. But I don't have that. And I should. But Ulta's closed right now. I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers of all time. It will cover all of your issues. and just a very flat brush. And then if you just open your eye and close it again, you can see like where your crease is. See how there's an extra line there? That's literally from just blinking. So that will give you a good guide as to where to put the concealer. And honestly, if you mess up, it's not a huge deal because we're going to end up pretty much blending that anyway. And it kind of depends too on your eye shape because I know mine, if I open my eye, it looks a lot bigger sometimes than it actually is. So then if I close it, my line is all like messed up. You kind of just have to take like artistic liberty at that point. I'm bringing it pretty much right to the other side of my iris and I'm totally gonna leave that just like a messed up line. And we're gonna go to the other side and do the same exact thing.
have to be absolutely perfect, it's okay. So while that's still pretty tacky, I'm gonna go in with my subculture palette in the color Edge. Make sure to get your edges because if it's too sticky, it's not going to let you blend it out. Whether you do makeup all the time or you're new to it, blending is your best friend. It really is. It saves so many looks. It really, really, really does. So I'm going to go in with the subculture palette one more time and a couple colors over there's called New Wave. I'm just going to take that one and go right along my edges with a super fluffy brush. This one is the Jeffree Star JS5. If you have that collection. And I'm really just going to go like right along my edges just to try and blend them a little bit See how that kind of helped a little bit. Go back with the James Charles palette into that bright yellow color. Just take a little bit of it. Because I didn't want it to be like a bright yellow look, so I had to dull it down first and now I'm gonna brighten it. People have different ways of doing that. This is mine. I put the glitters on. It's a little intimidating. It really is. And then I see some rogue glitters. See, there's glitter. I don't know if you can see it. There's glitter all over my face. And that's why we do the eyes first when we work with glitter. Now I'm just going to throw on my face makeup. It's gonna be the same as every other time. So I will be right back. And I'm back, just like that. Very nice. Um, so now I'm gonna do some eyeliner. I didn't know if you wanted to watch or if I should do it by myself. Figured I'd let you watch. So I'm gonna be doing this with the Tarte Man Eater eyeliner. Talked about it in my last couple videos. And I want to do a little bit more of an in-depth um, tutorial on like how I do it. But you'll kind of get a view just from this. As long as I don't mess up. Oh my god, if I messed up I'd be so upset. You're making me nervous. That's when you just like go in, just do it. hand is shaking. Can you see it? You just can't be afraid. Because if you mess up, you know, you can fix it. It's okay. Everybody messes up.
just like that. Now let's try to do the other side. This is when it gets difficult. It's like, can you just be even? This is my favorite. I almost all of my lip products, almost, are ColourPop. They're amazing. And this is my favorite lip liner. It's their collection with um, I Love Sarah. I I. Um, and this is their lippy pencil. What she is this? Nine fifty one maybe. Not positive, but. One thing I've noticed over the years is that my lips are uneven. You probably noticed that about yourself. Maybe not. Maybe you have awesome lips. Congratulations. Um, so I've learned to like overdraw some parts, underdraw some parts to make them even. Can you see how this side is plumped up and it goes out like that and then this side goes pretty much just down? Sucks. And I'd rather have the plumpier lips so I overline this side just the tiniest bit. To make it look even. And then I have downturned lips. So they come down. It's not like I'm having a permanent smile all the time. They come down. So when our lipstick, like red or something, look very intimidating. Because it's just straight up RBF. You know? I didn't think I had resting or er, RBF until I saw pictures of myself with lipstick on, not smiling and not looking at the camera, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so scary. So, this is the nice little like brown. It's like a light kind of brown, I guess. For a gloss, I'm thinking birthday suit from Tarte. Maybe, because it's not really a gloss, it's more of a lip paint, but I just want to hood it right here. This is going to give that ombre effect. It's gonna like make your lips look a little bit plumper. 
supposedly. I think they lie to me sometimes. They're a pure clear gloss or the fairy floss from ColourPop. Fairy floss is my jam. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you could learn like a little bit of something or get some inspiration, whatever it may be. Um, please let me know down below if you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel just because we can be friends and share our makeup tips with each other or just anything with each other. We can chat. I mean, I have social media. I'll chat with you. It's cool. We can be friends. Um, other than that, I really don't have anything else to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the last video and the first one to get me back into everything. Feel free to check out my other ones. I'm not a huge fan of them. I don't absolutely love them, but I kept them up because they are part of my story. They're part of my journey. Yeah, so kept the good ones up. I actually deleted a couple of the bad ones. So you're welcome. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please give me any suggestions down below or anywhere. Um, you can DM me if you like about different ideas for makeup looks, um, or anything in general, any kind of videos you may be interested in. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Love you. Bye.